psychopath. Loki. What? I was gonna say Sylvie. I don't know if she's a psychopath, right? Cause she feels. She hey, loves Horizon. you. Hey, she... Horizon. Like we've seen yeah. his the feelings develop, but we haven't really seen hers. But no, she's... I think she did. Yeah. So not only did she, you know, get taken when she was really young, I don't think she ever really had that time to emotionally mature. Like, she survived an apocalypse. What does that do to a person? But I, I do kind of agree with that she grew. And she, she actually gained emotions. She... But what's that? Do you think she went into that situation not expecting to come out? So she didn't really care as long as she completed her mission? And then Loki was just a, uh, like, a distraction. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, she didn't know what was going to happen when she got there. This is with the uh, home dude? Yeah, the Conqueror. Which we never really got his name, other than just Kane his the title. Conqueror. He's Kane. He's Kane? He who remains. Okay. They confirmed it. Okay, okay, good. It's, uh, <laughs> it's in the credits at the end. Oh, okay. Didn't they just roll like a few characters into him? Well, yeah, they did roll uh He Who Remains and uh the Timekeepers, of course. But yeah, they kind of rolled it all all of their time entities, they rolled into him in the in the Marvel, the movie universe. So, mm -hmm. but I mean, we all knew where the sh movie or where the show was going to end, right? Mm -hmm. Because the show starts out with, you know, spoiler alert. Spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. The show starts off with them talking about a single multiverse, right? This, mm -hmm. The sacred timeline. Well, the next movie in line is the multiverse of madness. So... What did he do? Context clues <laughs> tell us <laughs> that something's going to happen at the end of the show to the multiverse. And I, I, I liked how they handled it. I thought it was great. And evidently, that was all rewrote and redone at the last minute. Really? Really? So, did they say what they had previously? Yeah. So, so he was just about to make his appearance, and then they were going to end the season. That was the original plan. But because of COVID, they couldn't bring in the other actors and all that. They couldn't bring in all the actors they wanted. So they rewrote the scene to have just them three. Oh, wow. Which, in turn, they wrote in all his all of his storyline, which was really cool. Um, they made it work. Yeah. I think they yeah. made it flowed pretty well. And it like the way he was listing his names and titles... It, I feel like huge fans of the comics that were kind of waiting for this moment were just like the uh, the Leo Dica uh, yeah Leo DiCaprio meme where he's like tricky to be on the couch. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a conqueror. I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> oh, like we all we all knew it was coming in a way, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been talking about that since the episode one. That we felt that Kane was going to show up. And it was kind of glad. It was a good, nice little payoff to see him. Yeah. And I love the actor. He did an amazing job. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because that is a definitely a character who's never been portrayed before on a big screen or anything like that. So I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't really read that much into Kane the Conqueror before actually watching Loki. Like, I just kind of went into it. Yeah, I don't like know no everything, mm -hmm. but I do know he's from, like, the year 5,000-something. And he had, he built his own time machine so he could travel through time and space, and he started conquering timelines. Mm -hmm. There you go. I kind of felt like the design of the, uh, the beings that it might have been Galactus. Like, there was a chance that it was going to be Galactus. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And that's why he devoured, you know, the devourer of worlds, right? What mm -hmm. what better way to feed him than abandoned world or 
worlds from out of a timeline. Something, you know? Yeah. Kind of like they did with the giant beast. They could have worked Galactus in on that, but mm -hmm. I, I really liked how it went. Oh, my God. I can't wait for the day that they introduce Galactus and the Silver Surfer properly. So That's what's the next Marvel thing to come out? <laughs> I think it's the Inhumans is the next Marvel item. Mm -hmm. But then nope. the next big flagship movie would be Doctor Strange, I believe. Yeah. Wait, aren't they going to introduce the Marvels before Inhumans, or is it Inhumans and the Marvels? I I thought the Inhumans was next in line. But, yeah. The Marvels is next year, I think. Ah, okay. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> they pretty much got rid of Brie Larson almost 100%. I, think. <laughs> They're I, just going I with honestly Rambo. believe they might kill her off. Oh, look, Ryzen, and if you're still there, I, I trimmed it down. I cut it down just for so we could work together. Work together. I haven't trimmed mine yet, although I need to. It's getting unruly. It's starting to get curly at the bottom, too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to see. So, overall... Yeah, Overall, for the end of the ep for the end of the series, I enjoyed that. That was a wild fucking ride that I will watch again. <laughs> also, I would yes, love, right. yeah, I would love to see Wolverine in a future Avengers movie, but I don't mm. want him part of the Avengers. Yeah, no. I would, I would totally love him to do kind of like what he did with uh, Days of Future Past, kind of mm. like he was there, but he wasn't part of the team. Yeah. So. On, I think that's the best solution for him. Because I, I don't think Honestly, Wolverine ever joins the Avengers, does he? I really want to see Captain Canada. That's all I want. Hell yeah! Oh, man. I can't wait for them to introduce Deadpool. So next is either going to be Shang-Chi, which comes out oh, in September. Yeah, that's like next month, yeah. Or yeah. Eternal. Because all all I'm getting is um. Wait, did I? That's what I meant. Did I say in humans? You yeah. did. In humans is a while. Yeah. No, internals is next. Same in, fucking shit. Internals. Oh my god. So the other day I realized. And I don't know if I mentioned this on stream or not, but all the TV shows before Disney Plus are no longer canon. So mm -hmm. Shield, Inhumans, all of that gone. Even the even the stuff See, with Netflix. I don't. I don't know how they could disavow Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Right? Because that literally ties into the movie. You know what I mean? Like, they talk about the events of the movie in the show. So it's like... It was in an interview. I could see Dar like, you could easily cut out Daredevil and all that. I, well, they're all variants, right? It's all mm -hmm. variant. That's a, every. That's going to be the answer to everything moving forward. All variants. It's a variant. Bullshit. It's a load of horse shit. Which, that's what... Kevin Feige said that Loki will have more effect on the entire MCU than any other movie or show to this date. Mm. I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. So, the question is, what do you think of uh, Judge Rinslayer? What do you think is going to happen now? I don't know. Does she become a major enemy, or is she an ally? I don't I don't think they would ever trust her again. Yeah. Well, doesn't she work closely with Kang? Kane the Conqueror? I it, it's hard to tell with the way they're going, you know what I mean? They're not really mm -hmm. going to follow a story, I don't think. On this one, they're going to very be very selective. I think they're going to follow the Star Wars path, right? Mm -hmm. That they've been doing with the Mandalorian. Bring in deep cuts from the lore, but just change every detail about it. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So next is going to be What If? Because that comes out in August. What If? And then it's going to be Shang-Chi in September and Eternals in November. <laughs> yeah, evidently Shang-Chi is not doing very well already. Like... Mm -mm. Who does that It doesn't follow? even come out. It, uh, 
the Ten Rings. It's like oh, a, that's right. Yeah. yeah, it's a more mystic story. See, that one should play into kind of following into the ancient one and like tie in some way, but they're not gonna do that. Of course not. Yeah, no. They they've already confirmed magic is real. Yeah. So, do you think they're gonna film, or they filmed it by concentration camps? Oh, I hope they didn't. Because oh, then I'm gonna. So have they did to... the last one. E. E. So Eternals was supposed to come out in 2020. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff got pushed back because of the pandemic. So that's like like yeah. Black Widow, right? Yeah. Black Widow should have came out right after Civil War. It makes so much sense if it was in that place. Between Civil War and Affinity War, it should have came out. Yeah. See, that's what y'all need to go see, because we got to talk about Black <laughs> Widow and all the plot twists. Because there's one in it that I've been wanting to talk to you about to see how you would feel about it. Oh, I know, I know. I'm. Oh, I need to talk to Jay. <laughs> see if he's gonna stream the movie to to Discord, <laughs> or and Jenna can just go out. Maybe the second one, and Jenna will just go out. We'll go watch it. That that was like the what you know how well the trailers they show Taskmaster. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you remember the last movie Taskmaster was in? Oh my god. I think it was was it a Spider Man movie? No. No, it is it was uh uh Winter Soldier. Was it Winter Soldier? Yeah, the guy that leads the group of Hydra gets Captain America in the uh, elevator. Oh fuck, that was Taskmaster? I didn't even I, realize. At the time I thought it was. I, that was his code name at the time. But yeah, no. He's not the real Taskmaster. Damn it! I was really excited for them to finally introduce Taskmaster. They, I thought they did a decent role. Mm -hmm. Uh, his backstory just didn't make sense, but you know, yeah. Who was the, the guy that came to see Tony Stark at the end of um one of the in, one of the movies, or was it Captain America? General Ross. It was a silver floaty guy from space. himself captain america wait silver floaty silver guy floaty from guy from space is the silver surfer yeah i know but it wasn't the silver surfer it was an end credit scene he's like your planet is no longer hidden or no fucking bitch never mind ignore me wrong movie <laughs> no not wrong movie definitely marvels it was an end credit scene where the dude came to, like, it was a glass house on a lake. I want to say he came to Tony Stark, but Tony Stark wasn't there by the end of Endgame. Maybe Infinity War? I don't... Uh, I don't know. We'll just have to go remember. watch them all through yeah. and watch every end credit scene. Yeah, we're going to have to oh, watch them all. Oh, no. <laughs> 